penultimate weekend of the Sky Bet League One season saw a second team suffer relegation. Shrewsbury Town's two-year spell in England's third tier ended at home to Peterborough, who, with the win, booked a playoff spot. Only a win would do for the Shrews, and it looked promising when John Taylor headed in an early opener. But Peterborough hit back, scoring three times in 15 first-half minutes, two goals coming from Connor Washington. Josh McCoy had added a late fourth to make it 4-2 and send Shrewsbury down. Swindon could still catch Peterborough before the 3 p.m. kickoff on Saturday, but they saw their playoff hope end at the hands of Knox County. Regardless of Posh's result, the 2 0 defeat means Swindon will remain a League One team for next year. Swindon finished the game with nine men. Troy Archibald received his marching orders after this off the ball incident. Swindon pushed for an equaliser, but Knox County got the final say. Keller McGregor finishing the game off. The win moves them out of the relegation zone. Colchester all but sealed their place in League One next season with a thumping win over already promoted Brentford. Freddie Sears scored two as Brentford failed to recover from their promotion hangover. The win means the U's are virtually safe due to their superior goal difference. They are 15 goals better off than 21st place Tranmere. Relegation threatened Tranmere slipped into the bottom four after they lost the promotion hopefuls Leighton Orient. When you're at the bottom, things just don't go your way and that was summed up on Orient's second goal. A mishit clearance falling straight into the path of Chris Dagnall who capitalised the style. Russell Slade's Orient are now fourth in League One with only one to play before the playoffs. Carlisle's defeat at home to Oldham means their survival hopes hang by a thread. Carlisle are four points from safety but do have a game in hand over their relegation rivals. Substitute James Dayton sealed the victory for Oldham. The loss means Carlisle need to beat both Crawley and Wolves to give them the best possible chance of staying up in League One. Coventry secured their place in the division next season with a 1-1 draw against champions Wolves. Wolves had taken the lead with six minutes to go, but Nathan DeFonzo claims Coventry's equaliser to secure safety. The point moves Wolves onto 100 points. If they beat Carlisle next week, they'll break the division's points record. Elsewhere, Bradford leaps Frogs Crawley into 13th place with a 2-1 win. Crew's goalless draw with Bristol City keeps them outside the drop zone by just a single point. Sheffield United moves to within three points of 7th place Swindon with a win at Port Vale. Preston recorded a third win in four games at home to Gillingham. Rotherham fought out a 2-2 draw with mid-table and good honours. And relegated Stevenage sealed a first win in 11 against Walsall. A look at the top of the table then with the top two decided, attention turns to the playoff places. Peterborough take the final spot, Preston move from fourth up to third, while a draw for Rotherham sees them slip to fifth. Two wins for Sheffield United could see them still finish seventh. And at the bottom, two teams relegated and two to be decided. Tranmere and Carlisle occupy those positions after their respective defeats. Crews drawing in Bristol keeps them above the drop zone. A much needed win for Knox County moves them two points clear. Colchester are all about safe after their 4 1 win over Brentford. Remember, if you want to see extended highlights of your club, check out Player, where as a subscriber you can also access exclusive content, interviews, and live audio commentary on match days.